This is not a backbiting, mean-spirited initiative. It has a lot of um, friendliness and warmth and wanting everybody to do well. And of course they're competitive and I'm sure they all want to win, but they do it with grace and humility and enormous generosity. I look around and I feel like I'm part of some of the most talented people I've ever seen in my life. So I've never had a mentor before and the opportunity to get a mentor through a process like this is, that's worth its weight in gold. Obviously the process is, is a really educational and wonderful one, but it's only made better by the prize itself. I think it's a, anybody's guess as to, I mean, can they all win? <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning in New York, and the city is back and it's alive. A lot of anticipation, a lot of conversation. I think sometimes it's easier just to kind of go through the list and, and maybe and, take some and take off. off. We all agree that certain people shouldn't be considered for the runner-up or the winner. We discussed, but I think she is great. I think she's talented. And maybe she could come back and be the winner. For me, they lack a little bit of polish that would end up being one of the three here. Next year. To potentially come back. He's lovely. Here. We needed to have a real kind of debate about many others. And I have been so impressed with her. I thought she was absolutely a superstar in LA. But I wasn't really excited. I think that's what's missing is a DNA to the whole thing. You want her to win. You want her to make it and she will make it. I love it. Um, it just doesn't feel that iconic to me. So it's been a little harder for me. I haven't like had that sink my teeth into a moment. But, but you, I mean, you know better. I mean, I only know shoes because I wear them. <laughs> but I've worn a lot of them. I think there was a little too much schmaltz to the taste level. I think the whole package is important but I think the most important thing is the product because without the product, the emperor has no clothes. If they have the personality, then that's the free gift with purchase. This is a harder one than it has been in the past, right? This is the hardest. Oh, Jeffrey already is Oh, I know who I want to be the winner. The interesting thing about this group of people, wildly diverse, each one of them speak in a different voice, in a different realm of fashion, which makes it exciting, which fashion should be, but also wildly diverse. It's hard to say, do I love the taste of lemon? Do I like the smell of a rose? Everyone who gets nominated is truly a winner. All 10 are truly winners. Tonight, I'm going and I have an idea that like two people or three people are probably going to be in the mix, but how they're, they're going to rank, I have absolutely no idea. It creates a really unbelievable opportunity for young designers, and all the nominees this year are really amazing. It gives them a chance to express themselves and to show off their creative ability. It's just incredible to watch the fun kind of evolve and kind of manifest into this support system for young designers. And it's great to see them sort of blossom through the process. They've gotten an enormous amount of attention and press from this and I think that they will continue to do well. Remember how nervous we were this night, eight years ago? <laughs> Even it's been eight years? Has it been eight years? Eight years. Wow. If my time with the fund has taught me anything, it is that you never know where you're going to meet a fashion fund finalist. I've been introduced to them via a note from a stewardess on a plane from Miami. Uh, I've run into them at the Bar of the Ritz with Baz Luhrmann. And I've even seen them packing up trunks in the Vogue offices. Uh, but you don't have to look too far to find 10 wonderful talents here tonight, our class of 2012. As I was thinking about tonight, though, I realized what a privilege it is to introduce a friend. I've learned more about Christopher's professional achievements in the last few days than in the years since I've known him. So thank you, Anna, for inviting me to introduce Christopher. And I'm deeply grateful to all of you for having me here to learn even more about him as he speaks to us tonight. Christopher Bailey. I, I also wanted to express how brilliant this industry is, but also how ridiculous this industry is. Donna Cowan, uh, she came into my school and she wanted to see a few people's kind of 
portfolios and work. She, she stripped naked within about three minutes of meeting um, and tried on all my things. Um, and, and kind of that was one of my, my, my first um, kind of like big wake up calls to, to how nutty this, this industry is. Be authentic, something that, that has led, led me um, to kind of meet incredible people, um, but also to, to, to remain true to, to, to who I am as well. Now is the moment you have all been waiting for. The two runners up will receive $100,000, a business mentor, and a bronze egg from sculptor Rachel Feinstein. This is first runner up. Jennifer Meyer McGuire. I'm just making sure my name's there. Um, honey, thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, runner up, number two. Oh, great. Tabitha Simmons. Thank you so much to Anna and all the Vogue team for all your constant support. Thank you. The winner is Greg Chase, the elder statesman. I'm really nervous, but I just want to thank, first of all, all my uh, finalists that I that I got to meet during this process. You guys are incredible. I really had no idea that I was going to be standing here right now. I, I made a good case in my head for each and every one of you. So, um, and I want to thank everyone at Vogue. Anna, thank you very much and the whole team and wherever Meredith is, thanks for listening. But most importantly, I want to, um, this is for my brother, Paul, uh, who passed away some years ago, who the company is actually named after. So uh, this one's actually for him. So. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.